Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a thrift store makeover fall edition with these items here. I picked them up at my local thrift store. I got this little end table for $5. I got this tray for 25 cents. I got this little white sweater for 50 cents. It is a little stained, so I'm going to be transforming this into something different. And I got these little baskets for 25 cents a piece. So if you'd like to see the transformations and what I do with these items, just keep watching. So let's start by giving this end table a makeover. First step is giving it a good cleaning. The end table is super dirty and dusty and it looks like it has been sitting in storage for a while. So it is desperate need of a really good cleaning. I went ahead and removed the drawers so that it would be easier to paint them. The next step, I will be priming the table. Although the table does have some solid pieces of wood in it, it is not completely all wood, so I'm not going to be seeing each day, so I will be using a high quality adhesive primer, which is perfect for this piece and will also help with any bleed through from the dark wood stain. So now that I have primed the entire piece, it is time to start painting. I am going bold with this bright blue color, and I am using this chalk paint from Waverly Inspirations. This is a paint that I purchased from Walmart. It was about $10 for this bottle. I've never used this brand of chalk paint before, so I am curious to see how it does and what kind of coverage it has. So I was actually surprised with the amount of coverage that this paint has. It seemed to cover the piece really well with just one coat although it is a darker color, but overall it went on really well and was pretty consistent in coloring. Once I let the paint thoroughly dry, I applied a second coat of paint. After allowing the two coats of paint, I will be sealing it using this polyurethane triple thick water-based polyurethane. This polyurethane is super concentrated and really thick so I went ahead and left my stirring stick in the container so that I could stir it occasionally. This stuff dried pretty quick so once you brush it on there wasn't much more brushing you can do without leaving some streak marks so I had to be careful with the brush strokes. Since this was a thicker polyurethane, I only applied one coat to the frame and the drawers, but I did go ahead and apply a second coat to the tabletop for extra protection. After cleaning up the old hardware, I spray painted them using this metallic gold spray paint. The next project I'll be working on is these little baskets that I got for 25 cents each. After cleaning up the basket, I started painting it using some light gray milk paint. For the next basket, I started spray painting it using this Rust-Oleum white spray paint. I left the basket outside in the yard to dry overnight and then unfortunately disaster struck and someone mowed my lawn and kind of ran over the basket. So unfortunately this thrift flip is a fail and the basket went straight into the garbage because it's completely unsalvageable. So I bought this old sweater from my local thrift store for 50 cents. It has a couple little stains on it, but otherwise it's in good condition. I liked the chain knitting of the sweater and so I will be using one of its sleeves to make the pumpkin. I don't like the bottom hem of the sleeve and I don't want it to be part of the pumpkin so I cut that off and then I cut another piece of the sleeve off. Thank you. 
Now that I have this piece cut off, I am going to be using a long sturdy needle and upholstery thread. I thread up my needle and then I turn my cloth inside out and then begin to thread the bottom hem of the piece. I will continue threading it until I have gone in a complete circle as then I will pull the thread tight and pull the extra thread around the bottom and sew it closed. Now I turn it back right side out. I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did for the bottom and thread the top hem. I won't be pulling it completely shut, but I want it a little tight so that I can add the stuffing. I also won't be cutting the thread as I will still need it. So I stuffed the little pumpkin till it is quite full with stuffing and now I'll pull the top as tightly as I can and then I'll push the needle through the middle of the pumpkin and then I'll pull the thread on the outside of the pumpkin and pull it tight as I can as this will make the pumpkin shape.
I will continue doing this until I'm happy with the shape of it and then I will sure up the ends as best as I can and then I'll cut the thread. For the stem of the pumpkin, I will be using a little stick that I got from a tree outside my house and I will use a hot glue gun to attach it. And for this last project, I am going to be giving a makeover to this little old tray that I thrifted for 25 cents. To start things off, I removed this paper picture that was on the inside of the tray. And after giving the tray a good cleaning, I am using chalk paint to paint the entire tray. And after allowing that to thoroughly dry, I applied a second coat. Now that that's all dry, I will be using a sandpaper block to lightly distress the edges of the tray. Using this calendar that I purchased from Dollar Tree, I'm going to be cutting off this page as it is a really nice cute fall theme and I really like the pumpkins on it. So I cut that off and I cut the paper down to size so that it would fit on the inside of the tray nicely. And now that it's to size, I'm going to use some hot glue and apply just a few dabs to hold the paper in place. Now that that's done, I am using some chalk paint to kind of brush around the edges and make it blend in a little bit better and also along the top to give it a little bit more of a naturally distressed look. And now it's time for the final reveal. I love how this little tray turned out. I think it's super cute. And I'm using this little basket as a egg basket to hold my eggs here in the kitchen. And I absolutely love how this little sweater pumpkin turned out. I think it's so cute. And I did go ahead and use the rest of the sweater to make some more pumpkins, but I don't have any of those pictured in this video. And lastly, here is the reveal of the end table. I love the bold color and I think the gold knobs really make this piece pop. And I think it came out really nicely. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not already a subscriber and you are interested in different crafting, DIY, furniture flipping, home renovations, and all sorts of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in the next video.